Hi and welcome back to the Power BI video series. In this video I'll show you how to create cumulative production plots. So first of all what we'll do is we will be creating a uh, filter for our wells and this is going to be done on one of the columns that contains all the necessary information for the well names. Uh, you need to convert that first to a slicer. A slicer is just a name for filtering Power BI. Let's go ahead and resize that. And then we'll move ahead to creation of monthly production plot. So uh, let's go ahead and add a line chart to our canvas. We'll resize that chart. And we'll be adding the x uh, axis as a date. And the y axis as any variable that we want to create a cumulative for. In order to create a cumulative, uh, it's uh, required to have uh, a DAX formula written. So in order to do that, let's go ahead and create a new measure. In this measure, we will be creating a uh, the name of the uh, cumulative production variable. And then we'll be creating a variable inside it that will hold the maximum uh, date or the, uh, that will hold the maximum date of uh, the production per well. Once you return the value, it's now the time to use the calculate uh, function. The calculate function will create an expression or calculation depend on modification of the filter. Uh, the calculation that we want to create is, is actually the summation or the running summation or the total running summation of uh, oil production. So we'll be using the oil column. And then we should filter out any date that is not lying in the range of the dates we have by using the maximum date that we have created. And the final filter that we will modify is actually we will be selecting all the rows that are available in the table. Once we do that, now it's time to go ahead and utilize this uh, inside a line chart. So we'll drag and drop our cumulative uh, as in the y-axis and the date is going to be on the x-axis. Just make sure to change the hierarchy of the date so it can reflect. There we go. Now you have a cumulative plot in Power BI. Let's go ahead and change the name of the well. So you can see the cumulative production is changing as well. Plus you can select multiple wells at the same time so you can get cumulative for multiple wells. Thank you so much for watching us and make sure to follow us for more.